sometimes the workplace is at fault. Yeah, is what are some fault? of the tips for effective time management or, or is there another way to think about it? A lot of people talk about energy yeah. management yeah. rather than time management. So the other trend that I'm seeing is just general burnout, workload stress, which has been around for a long time, but it's still something that's that's big for a lot of organizations that we're talking to. And I think in part that comes from the increased focus on psychosocial safety because it has been, you know, workload, either too much or not enough, by the way, as well, yeah. is a is a hazard in for psychosocial safety. So that and the conversations around time management and how do we we Handle it's, it's, that's an interesting irrelevant. one because about oh, uh, 15 years ago I started seeing something that hadn't happened before. Mm -hmm. uh, organizations were eliminating positions yeah. and they were distributing the work to other people without yeah. replacing those people. Yeah. And uh, these people already had very big caseloads. They were working usually in health. They have big caseloads. They were already under pressure and mm -hmm. then they had this other job to perform. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I have to say that sometimes the workplace is at fault. Yeah, yeah. Is at fault. They don't have the systems in place, or I mean, they do have systems in place, but they may not may not take into consideration mm. the fact that people only have so many hours to do things. Yeah. Or maybe the communication channels do not encourage people to say, "No, I have enough work as it is. I can't take this on," because yeah. they should be able to say that. Well, if there's only um, so many hours in a day and you some of the, yeah. the jobs that you calculate out how much time is needed to get the job done, it's, it's just impossible. So, so then you have to have some system yeah. to say these are the priorities yeah. and this is what you do after, yeah. you know. So the first thing I would say here to workplaces directly, mm -hmm. look at your systems, be honest. Mm -hmm. um, would, can you say that your systems are built in such a way and your job design is, in, is of such nature that it respects human nature and what is physically capable to do within the yeah. eight hours of work. Yeah. Yeah. If you can answer yes, no, we have really good mm -hmm. systems, then we can look at other things, mm -hmm. but not before. It wouldn't be fair. So when you get down to looking yeah. at the individual then, mm -hmm. as if I'm a team member, um, you know, people request like time management skills training, for example. But that's not a bad thing. Um, I think I think that can be useful. Mm. What are some of? I mean, we we know in our team we get a lot done um, to the point where people comment on it. What uh, are some of the tips for effective time management, or, or is there another way to think about it? A lot of people talk about energy uh, management yeah. rather than time management. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if this is exactly what you're looking for, but you know, as as I've grown older, I've become better and not trying to solve every problem with my own brain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to look at the around my team and mm -hmm. say, hey, I have a problem with this. Who is somebody that is really good at this? Yeah. And then I go just straight to that person and say, hey, I have a problem with our computer. Yeah. You're in IT, can you help me? Or I could spend the next three or four hours. Yeah. They'll do it in five minutes. Exactly. You'll do it in three hours. <laughs> and, and that's right. We can't all be good at yeah. everything. Yeah. And, and you know, that's something that you learn as, as you grow older. You don't have to be mm. good at everything. Mm. You just have to be good at a couple of things, really good yeah. at a couple of things. And then, you know, you can serve people through that. And then get the skills from, from around you. And that yeah. we, that's, going, that's going to take away a lot of the stress immediately. So say though, there'll be a lot of people that say, well, that's great, but this is my job and my responsibility and there's just a lot of it. Well, um, is your job with people a working... list of tasks or is your job the results that you need to get out of it? Because that's another thing. Mm. I see a lot of people in jobs and that's the majority, mm. that they think that their job is a list of tasks, Yeah. but they're really capable and useful to me as individuals and not the ones that they see the task are the ones that see what's the aim where are we going with this yeah what is the final result with yeah. this that we want to achieve yeah we want to achieve I and mean, then it's not just about me it's yeah. a team effort sure i mean if we use the illustration of football you know soccer in some places you know is it is it about kicking the ball or is it about winning the game yeah yeah 
if it's about kicking the ball, then I will try to kick the ball as often as I can. Mm. I get very upset when somebody doesn't give me the ball, that pass, doesn't pass it to me, because then I can't kick it. Mm. I would be complaining about my team. But if it's not about that, I'll be quite happy to be cooperating with my yeah. team players, mm. uh, with the people in my yeah. team, to win the game. Yeah. Well, it's working smarter, not, not harder, right? Yes, you That's do have to the, work the smarter. Adage. But you know what? In most cases, the the instances of burnout that I have seen mm. that we're happening at work of course because we're not we're not we're, we're individuals we're always one person we're not yeah. a different person at work and yeah. then at home most of the cases were around the person not understanding how they fit in life yeah they didn't have a clear clear goal as to where they were where, where they were going and because of that, they were too much into one area of their lives and too little into others. Mm -hmm. Or And that's harder know. now, I think, with a lot of people working hybrid. And mm -hmm. I think most of the workplaces I talk to, they have a certain number of days in the office and a certain number of days at home. And I wonder if that's still a struggle for people, much as a lot of people have adapted, if that still presents challenges. I mean, you know, integrating those two. Even those simple things like knowing your peak work times when you have the most energy you know some people mm. are morning people that's when they really can power through things mm. others are night owls but but what's your rhythm of your day yeah. and how do you manage your your work tasks and your personal tasks and make that all operate together well one of one of the biggest um uh, dynamics in burnout in the workplace is whether my work is appreciated which means does my boss like me mm -hmm. uh, I know a lot of people love working from home, and if you have a job that allows you to work from home, good for you, but most yeah. jobs you can't do them from mm -hmm. home. But you have to add this, the added stressor of not being with your boss and not seeing their face for a few days. You think that's stressful to not see that, your boss? That is stressful because <laughs> I'm not getting, say, I'm not getting <laughs> feedback as to whether I'm doing a good job or not. Right. You, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You need that, some people need that constant feedback. Yeah. Is this okay? Are we yeah. okay? That's yeah. the question. Yeah. The unspoken question is, are we okay? Sure. Do you still like me or am I in yeah. trouble? Mm -hmm. If I don't see you for three days, I may be freaking out for three days. Sure. Yeah. So you got to take that into consideration. Some people will be happy as Larry. They're really good at working autonomously, independently. They don't have an issue with that. I still think there's a lot of people who, once you get out of the office, you get home, it's like, oh, now I can, you know, also bake a cake while I'm, you know, working. I can also, and so they might be distracted and dispersed in their efforts mm. instead of that sort of focused attention yeah. on, on getting things done. I would imagine that, um, that, that is quite probable. Mm. Mm. I mean, we do have a couple of videos on our channel on burnout, so mm. I encourage you to go and watch those if you yeah. want to look into a bit more into this. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it is an interesting one. Yeah. Mm.